Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to Purpose February. I am pre-recording today's video um, simply because I won't be available to come live this morning with you, but I do want to make sure you stay on track. So we are talking today about authority. And like I mentioned yesterday, you have to be submitted somewhere to someone if you want to have authority, okay? If you want to rule over something, you need to be under something. I know that might not make sense. Let me explain. Um, when we are truly submitted to something, whether that's, again, it could, this can be a person, a system, a belief, whatever, then we position ourselves to receive the fullness of what we are sitting, uh, what, what, what we are sitting underneath. So for example, imagine a, a covering, a house, a, a shed, a barn, whatever, right? Whatever I'm sitting under will determine what I receive. So let's say that this is a very well-established barn. There's no holes in it and it's raining outside. Guess what? The thing is going to do its job and I'm not going to get wet. The wind can be coming, but I'm not going to feel any effects of that because the barn is taking the, the hits for me. This is really what submission has to do with. It's a benefit to you. I know a lot of times when we're talking about submission, it's like, well, I'm not going to be submitted to that person there. You know, I'm a powerful person. I can do my own things. Yes, you absolutely can. And one of the things that you can do is choose to lay down what you think is right for what somebody else is telling you is best for you because we can't always see the full picture. We need each other. We need each other. And especially when we're coming out of something traumatic, something um, like narcissistic abuse, but it could be anything. It could be, there could be a death in the family. You could lose your job, any type of thing where it upsets your life as normal or when your life is shifting, it's really important that you're submitted because that is going to provide a lot of protection for you while you have so you, it can make space for you to think about what it is that you want to do. How do I move forward from this? How do I um, come to terms with who I am after this thing happens? And all of that type of stuff, you need space in order to process. Submission provides that for you. Okay, authority. We're talking about authority today. So um, if I believe something, but my actions don't follow that belief, that means that I don't actually believe that thing right? A lot of people will say, yes, I agree. We need to be submitted. We need to be, you know, we need to allow other people to speak into our lives, yada, yada. But they don't actually do that. They don't actually have people who have that authority over them. Therefore, they won't have authority over others. They're, they're going to, these are the people who are going to be demanding you respect me. I demand it. I demand you listen to me, right? I'm the boss. I'm the, I'm the mom. I'm the dad. And, and, and in a, in a way that is controlling, that is, um, that is coercive. Um, let me put it to you this way. If I confess with my mouth that I am honoring or I honor my boss, but behind his back, I have nothing but bad things to say about him, then I shouldn't expect to be promoted by him. I shouldn't expect the system that I'm working within to, um, have be a benefit to me in any type of way, because I'm not how it's, it's again, the principle of reaping and sowing. How should I be reaping something that I'm not sowing? Honor looks like something. Honor looks like something you will never receive from what you don't honor. If you do not have honor for your job, for your church, for your spouse, you will not receive from them because it's the principle of reaping and sowing. Okay. Um, I want you, so I want you to think about how this applies to your purpose. So think about all of the skills that you have, all of the systems that you have used to gain those skills. So maybe you went to school, maybe you were an apprentice, whatever you did, um, to, to gain those skills. Think about that. Maybe you read a book that was significantly altered your life that think about the author. Okay. So think about the system that produced the thing that helped you. Um, were you actually in submission to that, that system or were you picking and choosing which parts you were going to apply? Were you picking and choosing how much of yourself you were willing to invest into that course, that church, that program, whatever, that person? Go back and actually think about this because this will determine uh, how much authority you're going to have over that. For example, if you want to go into a system, specifically an established system that's already there, so like the media, whatever, social media, you want to go in and you want to change or influence it, 
You will never be able to do that unless you have authority over it. And how do you get authority? You have to learn what's already there. That's submission. That's coming in and, and, and coming under what is already established. Okay, I understand that this is what people want. I understand that this is how the algorithms work. I understand you have to learn about those things and be in submission to how it already runs once the thing that's already there. This can be a church system. Oh, I don't like that my church does this. I don't like that my pastor says that. Guess what? That thing's already there. You're either submitted there or you're not. But don't say you're submitted and then be doing and saying things that are not in submission to it. Okay? Do you have ideas that could be used to improve the thing, to improve the situation, to improve the system, to uh, improve the flow of things? Great. Great. That's great. But you, only when you have authority can you speak those things in. Be submitted to somebody else's vision. Be submitted to something else that's already established. And that's how you gain authority. I'm just going to give you a quick example of my life. Um, I... I have, you know, vision for my life. I have dreams for my life. And, and I have a plan for those things too. However, that plan, the word says that, that, that people can plan their steps, right? Man can plan their steps, but the Lord will order them. In other words, you can make a plan that seems right to you and it seems good to you. Um, but submission says, God, you have the opportunity to interrupt my steps at any point in time. I'm submitted to you because I want authority in my life. I want authority over every area of my life. I'm submitted to you. If you say take a right when I was going to take a left, I'm going to do that. If you say stop when I ha wanted to go full speed ahead, I'm going to do that. Um, and by the way, a lot of people will say, yep, yeah, I have submission to God, but not to people. That's such a perverse uh, teaching and thought. Be free of that belief. Because God works through people. And unless you be submitted to people, you're never going to have influence with them. You will never have influence over them. And people are what the whole thing is about. If your purpose is not about furthering or serving or providing for people, um, it doesn't matter what you do, what industry you're in, you're missing the goal of your purpose. Because purpose will always be for others. Um, so I hope this helps you understand why submission is so important and why you need it in order to have authority. If you want to be over something, you need to be under something. Um, so take a look at your life, at where you're actually submitted to. Think about where you have authority and what you actually did to get there. Think about those steps. Think about the way that you learned, that you absorbed information, that you turned that information into wisdom and then into action. Think about those things because this will be useful for you as you move forward. So you guys, I hope this helps you and I will see you tomorrow with another Purpose February video.